welcome to the stage, RISE Managing Director, Carrie Wooten. Oh, thanks, everybody. Welcome to the RISE Awards 2022. Oh my goodness, it's so amazing to have you all here in person and of course online globally. Thank you so much for joining us this evening. I want to start just by thanking our partners BT Sport and Timeline for hosting us this evening. I think you'll all agree the studios look absolutely stunning and so does this. Yeah, they deserve a massive round of applause. It does look absolutely beautiful. Just while I'm here, I've got a few thank yous. Uh, our sponsors, of course, to each and every one of you, thank you so much for sponsoring the awards this evening. Obviously, this event couldn't happen without you, so a huge thank you to each and every one of you. And to our judges, we wouldn't have a winner's list without any of you. Thank you for taking the time to read all of the nominations. We had over double the amount of nominations this year, which is phenomenal. And, uh, yeah, a huge thank you to each of you for reading them. While we're talking about nominations, each of the finalists, every single one of you, should be incredibly proud of being on that finalist list. I read all of the nominations, and oh my goodness, you are all phenomenal. Really talented and inspirational women working across the globe in our amazing industry. So huge congratulations to every one of you. Whatever the outcome tonight, you should be, as I said, really proud for what you've achieved and being on that list, because you're, as I said, so talented. Yeah, they're all of you, all of you. <laughs> While I've got your attention, it would be really easy for us all this evening to be lulled into a false sense of security that we've done it. We're well on our way to achieving a diverse and gender balanced workforce. Because look at the room, look at everybody online, how incredible is this? But we know that there is much more work to be done. Attending events like IBC and other events around the globe, we know that we don't have a gender balanced workforce yet. We don't, we simply don't. However, Working collectively, collaboratively, together across the industry, I know that we can and we will change the diversity and gender of our workforce. So please, my plea to you this evening, obviously having a wonderful evening, but please continue to be involved in RISE because, as I said, we need to work together to change the diversity of our workforce. Please come and talk to me, to Sadie, to our advisory board. We're all here to drive forward this and to see that change. So um, do keep supporting us because we need you because we all want that change to happen. Before I finish, I just want to say a huge thank you to Sadie, to two ladies that you might know, Kat and Sonia and Claire, who've been working so hard over the last eight months to put this evening on. They deserve a massive round of applause because it's an incredible achievement. So a huge congratulations to them all. Yeah, they deserve it. I hope you all have the most amazing night. I can't wait to celebrate with you. And yeah, I love that sound. I love, that was perfect timing. I love that sound. For those of you online, there's lots of bottles popping here. Um, but now I'd like to hand over to Fato, Fato Jeng, who is the broadcast regulation, uh, head of broadcast regulation, I should say, at BT Sport, who's hosting us in these amazing facilities tonight. So thank you so much and have an amazing evening. And over to you, Fatou. <laughs> everyone thank you Carrie um, just like to welcome you all and say thank you for coming over here to BT Sports Studios to celebrating a fantastic evening of women who are inspirational and doing some amazing things in the industry um, we're very proud to through our initiative BT Sport United to be a lead supporter of RISE and also to be a lead sponsor of the RISE Up Academy um, we hope you all have an amazing evening um, best wishes to all of the um, nominees tonight. You've all done some fa fantastic work and thank you all and have an amazing night. And I'd just like to introduce our fantastic host for this evening, Natalie Quirk. to Carrie and thank you as well to Farto. A very good evening to you all and a very warm welcome officially to the Rise Awards 2022. <laughs> I should, uh, I wanted to
to, uh, to introduce myself, um, I'm Natalie Quirk and this is almost like a second home to me because I've been here at BT Sport as a presenter and a reporter since 2014 actually, so almost since the beginning of BT Sport and I, uh, as I say, a presenter and reporter here but actually I've been in broadcasting for over 20 years now which makes me feel a little bit old and I started out as a 13-year-old Speedway reporter on the radio, which still kind of raises a few eyebrows now because I, I knew exactly what I wanted to do when I was 13, which I think was probably rare at, at, back then. But also, I was talking about motorbikes. I was getting dirty. I was talking to, to riders. But also, that someone actually let me on the radio at 13 years old, which I think was probably quite a risk back then. Um, as I say, I've been doing that for, for over 20 years. And... It was actually just a few days ago that I learned, whilst learning actually about the RISE Awards and the Academy, just how girls are influenced now at such a young age, younger than, than I was at 13, and just how important it is to educate them on the opportunities that we now have to offer in our broadcasting industry. Now, we will all have our own individual experiences. As I say, I worked in Speedway back 20 years ago when it was very unusual to have a young girl in the pits, as I say talking about motorbikes, getting dirty. But someone, I, I was very grateful that I had someone to look up to. And that person was Susie Perry, who you may be familiar with. Um, she was doing my dream job. She was in the pits, she was talking about motorbikes, she was broadcasting, she was a, a professional presenter. She was visible to me. I was able to see that there was a pathway, that there was somewhere I could get to. Similarly, Susie was the first and only woman to be starting in MotoGP back then. And now we're 25 years on, and I now work with Susie alongside her in the MotoGP paddock, presenting and reporting for BT Sport. And that same paddock has more than 100 women working in it. Yeah. <laughs> to say it is a, is a fantastic place to, to work as well. It's a very enjoyable. Um, I've got no doubt that everybody in this room is playing a huge part in showing young women that there is, as I say, an accessible pathway and that we want to have an inclusive industry. And of course, tonight we're here to celebrate the talent that we've got and the achievements that we've made over the last 12 months. So a huge congratulations to all our nominees for this evening. As I say, I am honoured to be hosting tonight's awards and I'll be delighted to welcome the many RISE members that are going to be watching us digitally from around the world. So a big welcome to everybody with us, either here in person at the BT Sports Studios here in London. Uh, and before we start announcing the awards results, we do just have a couple of notes and rules and uh, this is how it's going to work, basically. We've got most of our global nominees dialing in today. So just bear in mind, it might be very early in the morning, might be very late at night as well, whatever their time of day is. But we are certainly delighted that they can be with us and uh, you here as well in the room. We're also going to be streaming live via the RISE YouTube channels. So give everybody a wave. Can, there'll be cameras dotted around the room. They'll all be uh, watching, dialing in tonight. <laughs> uh, it is going to be available as well here for future viewing as well. So you can go back after the few wines, maybe in a few days, and watch the awards back. I <laughs> know what you're doing. <laughs> uh, do remember, whether you win or you're a finalist tonight, then this is a celebration. And we would be delighted if you could do lots of clapping, lots of cheering, lots of encouragement, please. Uh, we do have a Twitter wall tonight as well. Uh, and that is sponsored by our friends at Display. Now, the best tweet and picture of the night are going to win a bottle of champagne. Woo! <laughs> we will send that to you after tonight's event, just in time for Christmas. Be as creative as you want to be. Also, use the Twitter hashtag, Rise Awards 2022, so we can see it on the screens here. They'll be here on our screens there and uh, up on our big screen as well. Take lots of selfies, take lots of pictures. As we said earlier, the studio looks fantastic. So take as many pictures as you want and use them on Twitter as well. Tell everyone what a great time that you're having. Uh, in the main reception as well, you may have noticed that we have a photo wall, so please feel free to use that as well. Uh, use the, uh, you can use the tag uh, Rise on Twitter. Uh, the handle is at Rise underscore WIB. The hashtag again is Rise Awards 2022. 
If you are lucky enough to have won and you are here, if I ask you to please come up to the stage on this side, uh, collect your award, you're more than welcome to, to stand up at the lectern and uh, say your thank yous and give a speech. You're more than welcome to do that. Uh, then you're going to have your picture taken right here as well and then if you return to your seat. If you are joining us virtually, then we'll be bringing you up onto our big screen here so everybody can see you and you can say something and then uh, we will have somebody come and collect the award on your behalf and just make sure they send it to you. But they don't keep it on their mantelpiece. Of course, feel free to spontaneously join in with all the applause, whoop, holler, do whatever you want, wherever you feel it's appropriate. Like now, for example. <laughs> Bad. That's not bad. I feel it will probably get better after a few more drinks. You're all topped up though, you're all ready. <laughs> uh, let's just say the event wouldn't have been possible without the support of our awards sponsor. Also, a very big shout out to our fabulous judges. I have to say that because I know one of them. <laughs> um, they've all given up, of course, their valuable time uh, to help make this award ceremony happen. So, a very big thank you uh, to you guys as well. Okay. Are we ready for the awards? Are we ready for the awards? Yeah. The RISE Awards is a global celebration of the outstanding talent, skills, expertise and achievements of exceptional women and companies, and new for this year, some men, across the media, technology and services sectors. Now, we've got a lot to get through tonight. We've got 16 awards categories this evening, and we've got four new ones as well. We've got Ally of the Year, Business Operations, Project Management and Delivery. And finally, the judges decided to present someone with a special recognition award as well, which we'll find out a little bit later on. This year, as we've already heard, we've had over 300 entries from around the globe. And I'm pleased to say that we have attendees tonight in the room and online from Australia, India, France, Sweden, Canada, the US, and Bhutan. Oh, yeah. <laughs> And while it goes without saying that everyone on our shortlist is worthy of recognition, there can only be one winner in each category. Our sponsors will come up on stage over this side to present each one of them. Uh, any winners who are joining us virtually this evening will be, as I say, appearing uh, on our screen. Just a quick reminder to everyone on the shortlist, if you don't win, just know that you are amazing, you are important, and this was no mean feat for our, uh, for our judges and for being a finalist. So a very well done to each and every one of you here. <laughs> and to everybody uh, here tonight, all watching remotely, please, as I say, support and applaud enthusiastically whenever you can. OK, we are ready to get the ball rolling with our very first award of 2022. And we're going to start with the Sales Award. Now, this award, sponsored by Harmonic, has been designed to celebrate excellence in sales from great sales performance, showing initiative and creativity, as well as maintaining great customer relationship. Now, this award is open to any woman in a sales role in the broadcast industry, working either in a manufacturer, service provider, broadcaster, media publisher, or trade show. Okay, the first nominees for our award are Jayan Han, Regional Account Manager of Harmonic. Nicola Milburn. <laughs> Nicola Milburn, Regional Sales Manager, Fabrics. <laughs> Rebecca Knight, VP of Sales, EMEA Disguise. <laughs> Lots of support there in the house tonight, aren't they? And Roberta Cambio, Sales Director of Brightco. Hernandez, Regional Sales Manager, Southeast USA, Ross Video. Well, the judges said it was the weight and genuine nature of the customer testimonials that moved our winner into the number one spot. To be able to maintain that quality of consistent relationship with a range of customers in a highly competitive sales space is a unique skill borne by hard work and indisputable passion for the industry in which she works. 
Please welcome Scott Bunz, the Managing Director of Sales, UK and Ireland Harmonic, to announce tonight's winner. Thank you very much. The winner of this award is Sandra Hernandez, Ross Video. Sandra can't be here in person with us this evening, but fingers crossed, we will be able to join Sandra. Now, here she is. Sandra, huge congratulations. I hope you can hear the applause here. Just tell us where you're dialing in from. I am dialing in from Mexico City, so you're going to hear a lot of noise in the background. Mexico is playing in the World Cup, so I apologize for the noise. <laughs> Sandra, huge congratulations. Uh, what a way to, to start off your day in Mexico. You must be delighted. Thank you. Thank you so much to everyone. Um, I, just, um, I just want to thank Mark Cook, Rock Video, and Riot for the nomination. Um, I'd like to thank all the women who came before me in this industry who helped me be the person that I am today. I couldn't have done it without them. I'd also like to thank all the individuals who gave me the opportunity to grow in this industry. A special thanks to Jared, who gave me the opportunity and the support to succeed at Ross Video. Um, and thank you all of the women, all the people, especially the women at Ross Video who continue to push me to be a better person. And of course, thank you to all my clients and all my friends in this industry. I really appreciate it. And thank you so much for the award. I appreciate it. Huge congratulations uh, to Sandra. And to collect our winner's award, please welcome Karen Walker from Ross Video to the stage. Oh, there she is. <laughs> she's, uh, she's already beating me to it. <laughs> thank you very much. Give a huge uh, round of applause once again to Sandra. Well, I'm so glad that first one worked. All's going smoothly. So far, so good. OK, let's move on then to the uh, Product Innovation Award. And that is sponsored by our friends at Clearcom. Now, this award is presented to a woman who recognises the importance of revolution and invention for the broadcasting sector today and for the future. Fulfilling either a product development and or product management role, the outcome should be engaging and empowering to make a difference and create tangible benefits to the industry. For the Product Innovation Award, the nominees are Alice Richard, UX designer, Code Mill. <laughs> Carolyn Schramm, project engineer at Ari Solutions. Florian Magira, Innovation Engineer, EVS. Karen Robinson, Director of Engineering, Clearcom. Lucy Seaborn, Product Owner, AMPP Asset Management, Grass Valley. Now, the judges said that her work has led to true innovation in an emerging area that will lead to changes across the industry. Alongside this, she has promoted diversity within her sector and encouraged others to explore broadcast and IT as a career path for women through her work. An amazing result, huge congratulations, but please welcome to the stage uh, Clearcom Vice President of Product Management, Simon Brown, to announce the winner. Everyone. I am pleased to announce that Floriana Maguera from EBS is the winner. I know I have no speech. <laughs> Thank you very much for this recognition. Uh, I'm very proud to receive this award. Um, I'm very glad that there are so many amazing women in our industry. 
And um, I would like also to, um, to say that it's really great to see one's work recognized, but it's also a, a company, EVS, and also my colleagues that are here that are also uh, helping me through my work. So thanks to them too, Martin and Dunia. If you could uh, give them a round of applause. Thank you. Florian, having a photo taken, so give a huge round of applause once again to congratulate your Product Innovation Award winner, Florian Magera. Okay, moving on to our next award, and this one is this year's Business Award. Now, this recognises the achievements of a woman running a business within the broadcast industry, either manufacturer or service provider. For example, a CEO, a managing director, COO or business owner. Now, the judges were looking for someone who shows business acumen, outstanding leadership whilst achieving remarkable business growth. And this award is sponsored by our friends at LiveView. Let's see the nominees. Luen Legofik, VP Strategy and Business Development, Akedo. <laughs> Camilla James, Director, TechX. <laughs> Daniela Wagner, Co-Founder and Managing Director, Synergy. <laughs> Heather Dower, CEO, Hot Drop. <laughs> Jade Kurian, President and Co-Founder, Latiku. Mitzi Dominguez, CEO of Clearcom. <laughs> Nayema Sam, CEO of Samu Media Tech. <laughs> now, the judges said everyone on the shortlist for this year was phenomenal and deserving of this award. However, it was felt that the winner in this particular instance had made a significant achievement in the past 12 months, highlighting what can be achieved with determination, innovation, and business acumen. To present this award, please welcome our sponsor, LiveView's Director of Sports Solutions and Business Strategy, Ophir Zardok. Good evening. Oops, sorry. And the winner is Neymar Azam. here in person here in London tonight so keep your fingers crossed once again and hopefully we'll be able to hear from Nayema. Can you hear us Nayema? <laughs> Nayema, huge congratulations. It sounds like this was a very um, a very tough competition, a very uh, tough one to award and you fought off some stiff competition. You must be delighted to win the, tonight's award. I think uh, it's, it's a big moment for us, especially in the town. And uh, I'm really, really proud and happy to be among such a great lineup of amazing women leadership and uh, amazing women and trade blazers. So thank you so much for having me here. Um, just wanted to share that uh, I couldn't have achieved everything that I was able to in the last uh, 12 months if it wasn't for the people and my team who gave us their full support. And uh, I would also like to thank uh, our technical partner, uh, Benchmark Broadcast Systems in Singapore, for nominating me for the RISE Awards, and the jury and the RISE team for selecting me among the amazing lineup of inspiring women leaders and trailblazers. Well, you know, as uh, all, all of us know that uh, globally, the number of women CEOs in the technology, media, and broadcast sector are uh, significantly lower than men. And uh, in developing countries, this number is even lower. And in Bhutan and the Pan-Himalayan region, it is uh, rare to see women leading media and broadcast companies. And the reason that uh, I'm here today leading a company like Samo is only because I had people who believed in me and supported me wholeheartedly to create Bhutan's first OTT platform, Samo. And uh, women leadership, I believe, is only possible when uh, people, communities, policymakers, and governments support women-led businesses and initiatives. 
So in Bhutan, uh, I feel I'm particularly fortunate and blessed because our king and our queen are the biggest patrons of uh, the creative and technology sector. So I hope uh, this award inspires more women in Bhutan to lead businesses and also increases women leadership, especially in the technology, media, and broadcast space. Thank you so much. Absolutely. Well, I think we connect all those thoughts. Ladies and gentlemen, your winner of the Rise Business Award, Nayana Zan. And please welcome to the stage Lisa Collins, the Chair of Judges for this category and Managing Director, the Circle Society, to collect the award on the winner's behalf. <laughs> Nayana, thank you very much for joining us. A huge round of applause once again to our winner. Thank you for talking to us, Nayana. Okay, let's move on then to another of our special awards for this year, and it's the Student Award. Now, this award is sponsored by Simpti. Our Student of the Year will be a stellar representative of their educational institution. They will be the most outstanding all-rounder in their year. She'll show determination to succeed and have demonstrated a desire to learn, improve, and exceed their potential. The nominees for the Student Award are Deepa Bart Deluxe. <laughs> Gemma Nash, Global Academy. <laughs> Kai Randall's Global Academy. <laughs> Leah Saunders, Ravensbourne University in London. <laughs> now the judges said that our winner has amazing technical skills and is a complete team player helping and training others and making a name for herself within the educational environment and outside of that. Now to announce the winner, please welcome Polly Hickling, the board member of Simpty UK to the stage. Thank you. And our winner today is Kai Randalls. <laughs> Okay, our next award is a new one for this year, and it's the RISE Special Recognition Award. Now, this award was requested by the judges of the Business Award and approved by our advisory board. And our winner is a woman who has led a major global name in the media technology industry, ensuring that talent and culture are at the forefront of what she does and being a consistent backer of the RISE and its efforts. And I'm delighted that I get the opportunity to announce the winner of this award. And that is, drumroll, Mitzi Dominguez, the CEO of Clearcom and president of its parent company, HE. <laughs> Unfortunately, Mitzi can't be with us tonight, but she has sent us a video for us to watch. Good evening. Oh my, this award and recognition is a bit overwhelming. It's been a lifetime of high fives and do-overs. What a journey. I'm so grateful to those who thought I was worthy of a nomination and to the RISE Advisory Board who selected me for the special recognition. I was thrilled to be nominated, delighted to be shortlisted, and now, well, wow, what can I say? Thank you, RISE and my heartfelt gratitude to the founder and the creators of this amazing organization for honoring women every day, and especially tonight, and for all your endeavors to ensure that the next generation has more opportunities to excel in our industry. I am extremely honored in receiving this special award. I am humbled by the recognition of my journey which has been filled with joy, hard work, and perseverance. I learned early on, you can let things happen or you can make things happen. I chose the latter. I faced challenges head on with determination and purpose, 
always establishing a vision while remaining flexible and evolving. Throughout my career, my mentors, for whom I have the deepest respect, am forever grateful for their time and patience, always inspired me to do my best and believed in me by giving me opportunities to expand my capabilities. A very special thank you to Harry Miyahara, the founder of HME, who rolled the dice on a young college graduate looking for a part-time job. I have been blessed to have worked with and work with a very talented, inspiring staff and colleagues who without them, I would not be standing here today. I am grateful for all of them. I never imagined having an opportunity and privilege to thank my lifelines in public. So thank you to my wonderful husband, my rock, my partner in crime, to my amazing parents, to my dearest sister, and my beloved children for always supporting me throughout my career, my many adventures, and keeping me grounded. I was asked to share a bit of personal wisdom. I will share what I strive to live by. It's simple but hard at times. So I say, celebrate your mistakes. Learn from them and move on. Be grateful for them. They make you stronger and smarter. Don't beat yourself up. Raise yourself to the task. Be passionate about moving forward. Making mistakes is part of the journey. Experience them, live up to your full potential, and be fearless of what you have not done before. Embrace the unknown territories, treat your career as an adventure, and be passionate in all that you do. Thank you and cheers to a life of many more new adventures. Thank you. Outstanding. We've had some amazing speeches. What an incredible speech from Mitzi. Yeah, a standing ovation as well, quite emotional. Yeah. To collect her award, please welcome Clearcom's Simon Brown. <laughs> well done once again to Mitzi, an incredible speech there. Okay, we're going to move on now to our marketing award, which is sponsored by Disguise. Now, this award commends... Oh. <laughs> this award uh, commends an outstanding woman who is working in a marketing or PR role in the industry, either in-house or for an agency or as a freelancer. She'll demonstrate a desire to learn and innovate as well as being a strategic thinker who consistently shows astuteness, professionalism and creativity. The nominees for this award are Lauren Carter-Jones, Head of Events, Marketing, Media Business Insight. Lauren Myers, Regional Marketing Manager, Ross Video. <laughs> Sophie Light Wilkinson, SVP Marketing, Fit Moving. <laughs> Yaya Selber, Global Marketing Director, Net Insight. <laughs> Zoe Mumba, PR and Comms Manager, Fit Moving. The judges felt the winner demonstrated a clear contribution to their organisation and the wider industry. They showed initiative and innovation, resulting in an unprecedented level of growth and recurring revenue for the company that she works for. To announce the winner, please welcome our sponsor, Lorna Baines, Chief People Officer at Disguise, to the stage. <laughs> This is so exciting. <laughs> and the winner is Lauren Carter Jones. <laughs>
Well, I'm not going to match Mitzi's speech. I mean, that had me in tears. So there's a couple of people in this room who I wouldn't be here without. <sighs> One of them is my partner who's here tonight. Um, he supports me through everything I do. He pushes me. He's there. We have a young son who there's no way that women in this industry could do it without the people that support them. There's another very special lady who put me forward for this award and believed in me. She took me on as a temp contract. We had a chat on LinkedIn and I said, I'm not what you're looking for, but let's talk. <laughs> and a year later, I have a permanent contract. We have a fabulous exhibition and every day is just a joy. I love my job, but without her, it would not be the same. And it's women like that that put us forward, who empower us, who drive us, and then it's everyone else behind that that supports us. And I honestly, there's so many people in this room that I know and I see on a daily working basis, I do events with. We all love each other. It's a very, very empowered industry in general, but there's something about Rise that makes such a difference. And if you are not involved or you've only just learned about it recently, get more involved because we can't, oh, can't do everything that we do without it. So it is a fabulous, fabulous event, foundation, and it just, yeah, I wouldn't be here without it. Thank you. <laughs> NPR hero uh, Lauren Carter Jones. I think she was quite shocked by that one. I wasn't expecting to get so emotional tonight, but already, already I'm feeling it. Okay, next we have the R&D Engineer Award. Now, this award is sponsored by Atelier, and it recognises a dynamic and innovative engineer who represents the very best of our broadcasting profession. They are a high achiever, a problem solver, and a team player. They'll be an inspiration to colleagues, the wider profession, and inspire others to follow in their footsteps. The nominees for this award are Emma Young, R&D Engineer, BBC. Yeah. Eva Sandin, Westberg Manager, Nimbra Applications. Yeah. Zineb Agyo, the R&D Video Compression Engineer, ATEM. Degessa yeah. Grover, Machine Learning Engineer, Twitter. Now, the judges said she is a world-leading expert in one of the most important fields of technical innovation today and is not just a brilliant engineer, she's an inspirational role model for women everywhere and a powerful change agent, the mark of a true engineer. Unfortunately, our sponsor can't be here in person tonight, so let's hear from Atelier, who will announce our winner via video. Atelier Creative Technologies is delighted to sponsor the RISE Awards again in 2022. It is my pleasure to announce that the winner of the R&D Engineer for 2022 is Jigasa Grover, Senior Machine Learning Engineer at Twitter. Congratulations Jigasa and enjoy your well-deserved award. Degessa isn't here this evening, but hopefully Degessa is going to be joining us live now. And Degessa is, uh, is live from San Francisco. So is it, it must be, what, very early hours of the morning, is it? Is it? I mean, the most important question is, is it too early for champagne? <laughs> um, not bad. It's 12 noon, so I'm ready for champagne with my lunch. <laughs> Excellent. A huge congratulations. You must be delighted, Jagatha. Yeah, thank you. Thank you so much for bestowing me with this prestigious honor. Um, definitely humbled and elated. Uh, immense gratitude to all those who have been supporting me in my journey, mentors, allies, and specifically my family for instilling the confidence and power of hard work in me. Um, I feel motivated now more than ever to continue making a dent in this AI community and supporting the upcoming generation in this field. Again, thank you so much and hope you all are having fun out there. We certainly are and we hope you are going to do as well. A huge congratulations to our winner this evening. Uh, please, uh, 
Please welcome to the stage to collect the award on Degas's behalf, Andy Beale, the chair of judges for this category and chief engineer for BT Sport to collect our trophy tonight. Degas, a huge congratulations. I will make sure Andy gets that award to you. Have uh, enjoy the rest of your day. Thank you Thank very much you. for joining Thank us. You huge so much. round of applause. Thank you. Bye -bye. Bye -bye. Halfway through our awards, who's been tweeting, who's been posting messages and photos? Well, I'm going to check because you will see some of them uh, there. Here we go, BT Sports Studios, the Rise Awards. Don't forget the hashtag Rise Awards 2022. Congratulations there for our winner, Kai. Uh, big night out as well. Robert's enjoying himself, I think. Um, keep those uh, tweets coming. As I say, hashtag is Rise Awards 2022. Don't forget, champagne on offer for the best tweet as well. OK, our next award is the Ally Award, which is sponsored by Vi uh, VizRT. Now, this award recognises men working across the media technology sector who have driven both internal and external initiatives to support gender diversity. Over the last year, they will have worked to support or develop new programmes within their own companies or wider industry community. They'll have also used their voice to drive conversations and ensure that the lack of gender diversity remains a priority for their colleagues and the industry. The Ally Award nominees are... Fernando Kufa, Chief Executive for Sky. <laughs> Ian Wagden, BBC R&D. <laughs> We've got competitions going on here. Kiki Garcia-Gill, Head of Marketing Source Elements. Chris Language, Senior Customer Solutions Manager, Amazon Web Services. Shola Aminu, Head of DEI Zone. But well, the judges said it's clear from the multiple nominations that he really walks the walk when it comes to the importance of creating a company culture to recruit and support employees of differing gender, age, sexual orientation and socio-economic backgrounds. Please also welcome to the stage VizRT Global Demand Generation Lead Rebecca Hannon to announce tonight's winner. And the winner is Fernando Cooper. <laughs> Thank you, thank you, thank you. So honoured, so humbled. Of course I wrote something just in case and of course I forgot all of it. <laughs> so first of all, thank you Rise for the amazing evening for organising this event. Thank you Sadie and Carrie and of course our very own Lorna. I wouldn't be here. It's a round of applause for Lorna. We didn't know about Rice until Lorna came to our lives and our table, as you can see, I wanted them all here, but anyway, it's all women, thanks to Lorna. Um, so anyway, this speech that I had written went something about clearly not following any rules, let alone reading the rules. Uh, so don't follow rules, women. Be yourselves, be out, be loud, be you. Your voice matters, speak more, and hopefully next year and the years to come, there's many more women awarded and dominated and thank you very much thanks everyone <laughs> we know where the party is over there don't we party starting over there <laughs> okay 
Uh, our next award then is the Influencer Award, which is sponsored by Bitmoving. Now, this award is going to an individual who creates influence communities and has a voice in the industry and brings people together. Now, they may work in sales, marketing, journalism, business, or other roles, and they'll be recognised by their peers and community as an influencer. The Influencer Award nominees are... Carolyn Jardina, contributing editor for The Hollywood Reporter. <laughs> Megan Wagner, the senior vice president, America's Vimond. Sarah Esuf, operations manager, engaged digital partners, and previously with Timeline TV. And the judges said that she has shown a level of tenacity, reaching thousands of people in the industry bringing important subjects to the fore, such as sustainability and DEI. She's highlighting other voices and bringing the broadcast community together in an impactful way. So please welcome to the stage, Bitmoving PR and comms manager, Zoe Mumba, to announce our winner. And the winner, the winner is Sarah Isouf. Influencer. I've, I, when I got shortlisted for this award, I was a little bit uncomfortable with the term influencer. I mean, the only thing I ever influenced people to do is shots at the bar. So come and see me after. <laughs> but really, um, this award is for the work that I did with a few other people on uh, Timeline Podcast Anywhere. So first of all, I'd like to thank Timeline for allowing us to produce and make the podcast. <laughs> yeah. Big up Timeline, good on. <laughs> and also I'd like to thank Charlotte Weirden for the nomination and uh, she also helped make the podcast and Dan, Dan Holman, who was the audio engineer on the podcast. But mainly I'd like to thank all the guests and contributors. Um, we've had a number of people, some of which are in this room, uh, come onto the podcast, talk about issues in our industry that need to be addressed. It's an extension of what Rise is doing, really. So, uh, yeah, thank you to Sadie and Carrie for inspiring us to make this podcast. And, yeah, I guess I'm the face of it. Uh, so, yeah, thanks very much. <laughs> Once again, to our winner there, to Sarah. OK, we're going to move on to our next award for 2022. And this is another new one for this year. And it's Project Management or Delivery. Now, this award is sponsored by Grass Valley. And it celebrates a person who has exceeded in delivering transformational projects on time and within budget. They have an exceptional organisational and leadership skills, as well as managing multiple stakeholders and multiple tasks. The nominees for this award are... Chrissy Collins, Client Manager, EMG. <laughs> Katie Brand, Technical Solutions Specialist, BT Media and Broadcast. <laughs> Mallory Larson, Technical Project Manager, Deluxe. <laughs> Natasha London, Software Delivery Manager, Red Bee Media. <laughs> Nikki Whittle, Head of Broadcast Solutions, EMEO. <laughs> In full spirit now. Okay, the judges said the combination of managing the complex technical delivery of a major event whilst at the same time creating opportunities to elevate women and give opportunities for the next generation made her a standout winner. So please welcome to the stage Grass Valley's CRO Tim Banks to announce our winner. So congratulations to all the shortlisted nominees. And the winner is 
Chrissy Collins, EMG. <laughs> Here in the room with us now we've linked up to Mexico we've linked up to San Francisco <laughs> she's already got the wine out can you hear us in Scotland <laughs> well what a picture to bruise up <laughs> I think we may have broken the internet and uh, but uh, she's celebrating already. Unfortunately, we're having a few technical issues there, but it certainly looks like she's celebrating already. So please welcome Wendy Stansborough, the HR Director from EMG, to collect the award on her behalf. <laughs> Oh, what a shame. I was really looking forward to hearing to what uh, Christy had to say there in Scotland. <laughs> OK, um, we are going to move on to our next award, which is the Technical Operation Award, sponsored by our friends at Ross Video. Now, this award celebrates a technical operations team member who goes above and beyond the requirements of their day-to-day -day role to make a difference, whether it's delivering outstanding client service on a particular project or service line, resolving a difficult problem, or supporting a colleague or client to help achieve it. The nominees for this award are Sheer Johnson, the Vice President of Operations in Compass. <laughs> Gemma Worley, BBC Lead News Director, BBC News. Senior Ingest Lead, Picture Shop North. <laughs> Pippa Windis, Broadcast Operations Centre Team Leader, Telstra Broadcast Services. Sarita Marchena, Operations Manager, Red B Media. Now, the judges said, what a rock star, an all-round winner. She handled COVID like a champ and pivoted between at-home and in-studio shoots. She fights for the equality of women and diversity in the studio environment, which isn't easy. A super solid winner. Please welcome to the stage Karen Walker, VP, Camera Motion Systems, EMA from Ross Video, to announce the winner. And the winner is Pippa Windas. I was not expecting this at all. So I had nothing prepared. But I didn't know about Rise until I started my job at Telstra. And for my entire career, I have had mentors who were men. So to be included in this wonderful room of strong, empowered women is something new for me. It's really lovely to see so many people supporting us to rise in our positions. So I would like to call out a couple of people. Graham Stevens, Brett Payton, Sunny Hinwood, and my husband, Darren Windus. <laughs> Thank you. To our winner there, Pippa Windus. Okay, moving on to our next award then, and this is for Production Support Engineer. This award is sponsored by Black Magic Design and recognises a dynamic and innovative engineer who represents the very best of our broadcasting profession. A high achiever, a problem solver, and a team player. They're also an inspiration to colleagues, the wider profession, and inspire others to follow in their footsteps. Here are the nominees for this award. 
Hannah Pickford, post-production engineer, Gravity Media. <laughs> Kathleen Gray, senior broadcast engineer, NEP UK. <laughs> Kirsty Elliott, camera guarantee, timeline television. <laughs> Michaela Deborah Koo, guarantee broadcast engineer, NEP UK. And the judges said of this winner that she goes above and beyond in her role and demonstrates exemplary leadership, not only through excellent engineering, but with concise communication and client management. Her broad skill set and initiative shine through, and her readiness to support and train others is truly inspiring. Please welcome to the stage Black Magic Designs Communications Manager Christian Sharp to announce our winner. And the winner is Markella de Vericu. say thanks because I'm quite nervous. I was not <laughs> expecting this. Um, and actually maybe a special thanks to also Kath Gray who has also been my mentor these last few years at NEP. We've done so many projects together <laughs> and I've learned so much from her. Thank you. Huge round of applause to our production and support engineer of the year, Mark Heller. Well done. Okay, our next award this evening is the Business Operations Award. Now, this is sponsored by Christie Media, and it celebrates individuals who take the resources available to them and turns them into the finest content that we see on our screens today. Now, these resources include finance, workforces, and legal, etc. The person in the business operations role that will ensure that they are delivered to the right place at the right time with the highest levels of quality. Let's see who the nominees are then. Amanda Wall, Director of Operations, Take One. <laughs> Jane Son, COO of Sunidec. Lainey Scott Campbell, Access Service Duty Manager, Rugby Media. Madeline LaRue, Senior Production Manager, Scripton Deluxe. Shivani Kutcher, Senior Manager, Sales Systems, APAC, Enterprise Technology and Operations, Warner Brothers Discovery. <laughs> Sobna Nakada, Vice President, Localization Operations, Deluxe Entertainment Distribution, India. Okay, the judges said that this person was a valued leader and manager and is highly respected within her role. Confident, considerate, and tenacious and is in an inspiration to everyone across the industry. She demonstrates a wonderful combination of leadership skills and technical knowledge. So to join me on stage for this presentation, please welcome Deborah Cross, Commercial Director, Christy Media, to announce the winner. Thank you very much. Gosh, don't we all scrub up well. <laughs> I'm delighted to announce that the recipient of this award this evening is Jane Sung Sinidek. Uh, and joining us from across the pond in America, please give a warm welcome to Jane. Huge congratulations, some wonderful words there to describe you and, and why you were a worthy winner this evening. Because give us your thoughts. Oh, oh Jane, unfortunately, unfortunately, we, we can see you, which is fantastic, but we can't oh. quite hear you. Oh, maybe there she is, there she is. Oh, oh I'm hey. sorry. There um, go. <laughs> well, I thought it just turned on my side, geez. Um, uh, I'm just floored. I can't believe I won. I, I'm, I'm so grateful to be um, in the company of all these esteemed women. And I'm so proud of Rise. Um, and I'm so proud that we have women here working at Synodec as well. Um, and thank you so much. I'm honored. I'm humbled. Thank you. 
Huge round of applause <laughs> for Jane. Uh, lovely to hear from you, Jane. Huge congratulations uh, to Jane. And to collect the award on their behalf, please welcome Helen Whedon, Radical Moves to the Stage. for being with us. We'll make sure that award gets to you as soon as possible. Have a very good evening. <laughs> Thank you, Jane. OK, we have rattled through these. We are down to our last three awards, then, of the evening. And uh, we are going to move our attention to the Rising Star Award. And the Rising Star Award recognises women who are industry newcomers with four years or less industry experience. They are standout performers, innovators and emerging leaders in the broadcast and media industry. Uh, applicants must have demonstrated exceptional and ongoing achievements and have made significant and demonstrable contributions to their business. This award is sponsored by our friends at Avid and the nominees are Beth Harper, Marketing Assistant, Object Matrix. <laughs> Emily Phillips, Senior UX Writer at The Zone. Maddie Holmes, Guarantee Engineer, EMG. Sarah Ambrose, Sound Engineer, Timeline Television. Susan Lynn, Territory Manager, Southeast Asia, Tech Town. And amongst many of the comments, the judges said that the winner had made career leaps in one year that typically take others in her position, male or female, two years or more to do. She's a role model for any person in her field and her career progression is an incredible achievement for anyone which should be recognised. Coming to join me on stage for the presentation, please welcome Avid's Emmy EA Field Marketing Specialist, Vicky Jameson, to announce our Rising Star winner. <laughs> As a RISE Menti alumni myself, I'm honoured to present this award. And the winner is Maddie Holmes. I wasn't expecting this at all. Um, just want to say thank you to EMG. Um, thank you to my partner, Chris, who's also a vision guarantee at EMG. He's been absolutely amazing, my whole support. And uh, yeah, thank you. This is amazing. Thank you so much. <laughs> It is time for our penultimate award presentation, the Woman of the Year, a big winner uh, for our evening here tonight. Now, this award was chosen by our global advisory boards, and it was a unanimous decision. So I'm now going to hand over to John Westcote, SVP Strategic Alliances and Marketing at Zixi. Thank you very much. I and the rest of the Zixi team am once again very proud to sponsor the RISE Organization's Woman of the Year Award. There are so many inspiring women in our industry that play such instrumental roles, making outstanding and significant contributions within their fields, and it is a real honor to recognize them. Thank you, RISE, for the continued opportunity to support them. I would like to sincerely congratulate the 2022 RISE Woman of the Year Daniela Wagner. The compassionate culture that she has helped create at her company Synergy is both inspiring and pioneering. We really applaud your efforts and your award is so very well deserved. The work that Daniela is doing to lead Synergy staff as well as the media industry in general to aid and assist the Ukraine during this very tumultuous time exudes incredible commitment and dedication. So thank you so very much. Once again, congratulations, Daniela. Thank you very much to John and a big round of 
course for Daniela. Unfortunately, Daniela can't be here today in person, but we have managed to get her award to her. And I can hand over to Germany for this video. Good evening, everybody. Thank you so very much for my award, Woman of the Year. Um, I wanted to thank everybody who has been nominated with me. Um, I'd like to especially thank the Board of RISE for uh, acknowledging um, me and what we've been trying to do in Synergy. And I am, I'm just so surprised. Thank you also to Zixi for sponsoring the event. We're very grateful for that. Um, in receiving this award, I, I feel it is a very important and personal uh, acknowledgement of what not only I have done as uh, the owner and co-founder of Synergy, but also all of my colleagues who have helped and are still helping, of all of those who are still in the Ukraine and those who we've been helping in Germany and in other countries as well. I also wanted to thank everybody in this room, and I'm very sorry I couldn't be there with you this this evening to, to celebrate with you, but for everybody's efforts in keeping this topic alive and current. Um, and it, I'm just very moved to accept this. I'm very, very proud. Thank you so very much, everybody. I wish I could be with, with, with you there. Um, but in the meantime, congratulations to all the other award winners. So thank you very much. Congratulations once again to uh, Daniela. Uh, well, you've been a super audience. We have reached our final award for the evening. And this one is going to be for the Company Award for Investment in Women. And that is sponsored by Telstra. Now, this award is being given to an organization that has made a significant time or financial investment in recruiting and retaining its female workforce. They'll ensure equal pay conditions give women a voice, provide flexible working practices, and have a no-tolerance attitude to sexism in the workplace. This company celebrates the success of its women and is able to demonstrate the steps that they have taken to do all of this. Let's see who the nominees are. Adobe. <laughs> Deluxe Media Services. Disguise. The judges felt that this company's sheer breadth of programs and support offered at all levels from the leadership to the new recruits made them the winner. It is exciting to see it in action and not just on paper. To join me on stage for this presentation, please welcome Telstra's Broadcast Operations Centre team leader, Pippa Winders, to announce our winner. <laughs> Congratulations to all the nominees. The winner is Deluxe Media Services. <laughs> say a huge thank you to Rise, who are absolutely amazing. They've opened all of our eyes at Deluxe to massive engagement with women and the Rise Up Academy, working closely with Carrie. We're hugely invested in increasing the diversity within our team, and we're thrilled, absolutely thrilled to win this. So thank you very much, everyone. <laughs> And that is my role and my job completed. Have you all enjoyed tonight's evening? I, uh, I think you will all have
Gregory, we have lots uh, to celebrate this evening and I want to thank you all for joining me and being part of our wonderful show tonight. Congratulations once again to all of our winners and to the nominees as well. It has been a real pleasure to be here, to be your host this evening. Thank you very much. Enjoy the rest of your evening.